<laughs> That's why they look like someone in the movies. So we got 500k in our last video. That's a lot of people. I want to thank everybody that watched that video, and from all the feedback we've gotten, we want to make a V2 for you guys. Okay, so we have a guest appearance, Dante Hutchinson here. Hi guys, we're here today teaching how to do basic tricks. We're gonna start off with the tuck no hander. Tuck no hander! Yeah! We're gonna try to knock over the football court. Some of you guys watching right now could be the next up and coming pros. You could be a world champion. So I wanna teach you these V2 of beginner scooter tricks. First trick, tuck no hander! So guys, it's Stunning H here. I'm teaching you guys how to tuck no hander on number five list. Ooh, hey! Damn, Daniel. First, you're going to want to learn how to take off the ramp. You want to get your center of gravity perfect. You want to be leaning forward and leaning back. So once you learn how to take off the ramp properly, you're going to want to bring your scooter forward like this, or you're going to run and bring your scooter backwards, and you're going to bring your body forward and so you can get your knees through your bars like so. Then once you've got your knees clamped, you take your hands off, make sure it's all nice and extended, and once you feel you're comfortable putting your hands back on your bars, you let you unclamp your knees and make sure you've got the landing right. I like it. Let's see it. <laughs> Wait, our highest or highest? <laughs> our highest. This is the most requested trick on any part of social media and YouTube. Number four, the double whip. If you really want this trick, you gotta commit for it. You gotta be able to lean forward. When you're, when you're going off and you're doing this, you can't land the whip, you're gonna fall back. You need to be able to land this trick. So you need to lean forward and you know how to double whip. Okay, so everything that you think you know about a double whip, scratch it and listen to exactly what I'm saying. When you take off the ramp, you wanna lean forward and you wanna be flat. You can't land leaning back. When you're doing the double whip, instead, you can't just throw it like this so it's gonna, you're gonna lose control of it. You need to have control of the whip. It's your scooter, you're riding it. It's not riding you. So make sure you're practicing your rotation. It's obviously the most essential thing you need to be doing. You can't expect to progress on a scooter if you're not gonna take limits and push yourself. You might fall on some of these tricks. Some of these tricks are kind of tough for newcomers. Okay, should I show them? I mean, if you could, if you could double it, you should do it. Right, let, me, let me just reenact it. Oh. No, I was, was reenacting. You need to commit, Corey. Oh, okay. Oh my gosh. He did, yeah. You can't run if you don't know how to walk, right? So with the double whip, if you learn how to catch first, it's gonna come in handy when you're starting to learn double whips and then you're able to catch it. You'll land tricks twice as fast. Any trick you do and you catch it, you'll land it so much better. Oh, that hurts so bad. I'm gonna do the double whip now and I'm gonna catch it. Truly, that was amazing. In a double whip, it's not all about the feet. It's about your hands, too. So when you get the initial flick, that's gonna get half the whip. But then from there, you're gonna start whipping with your hands. Here, can I guess appearance? Can I guess appearance? So we're gonna do the two grabs Corey will be teaching for this third segment, Yeah, yeah. which is nose grab and Wait, India. Uh, uh, if you don't know who this, this is, Capron, and this is Capron Funk. I'm the filmer guy. You, I don't know if you've ever met him before, but yeah, he's yeah. pretty good these. So yeah, you follow check me on my out. Instagram right here. Yeah, it's Bar Barcelona, what the? So now we are starting with grabs. Nose grab, indie, toboggan, stillfish. When you do this trick, you are not <laughs> bending down to your scooter. You're going to bring your scooter up to you. So you're going to bend your legs and bring the scooter up to you. Bring your bars up right here and then you reach over. Because I see some kids, they go like this. They're trying to reach over like this. But they look, they can't even reach their wheel. But if I do this, I can reach all the way to my back wheel. So reach your... Reach your for hips. it, baby. Reach for it. Yeah. When you start to learn this trick, practice just taking your hand off and reaching a little bit, both ways. You also want to be able to get a good takeoff because this trick can kind of mess up your center of gravity. Yeah. So uh, when you're in the air, you kind of just take your take your your hand off and just reach down anywhere, and just you can practice like that too, like move your bars like that for a T-bar. That's I, smart. My favorite trick is the still fish. I do that one all the time. The longer you hold these tricks, the steezier or the more, the more, the more clean, the more clean they look, dog. <laughs> okay. Good. Yeah, no problem. Anytime. 
Okay. Nux. You know, can you stop moving the camera away? <laughs> it makes me feel like you're not filming. And then I'm trying to get ready. Okay, so number two on the <laughs> number two on the list, we're gonna do a heel whip, and you gotta know how to do a tail whip. Obviously, we're just doing it the opposite way. We're just going this way instead of this way. So this time, we are doing number two on the list. Yeah. Heel whip. Heel whip. Opposite rotation of the Ow. way you whip. Yeah. So I, I tail up this way. So, some people now, naturally heel whip. Yeah. Some people naturally heel whip, and that's completely all right. Some of the best riders in the world are naturally opposite. This trick doesn't come very easily, so you need to practice it a bit. Just even flat around. You know how we showed you this? Same thing. Basic scooter basic, tricks. Top five basic scooter tricks. If you haven't seen that one, go watch that one to learn all those tricks first. So heel whip, I would recommend practicing this flat run first and then taking it to the rim. You can practice it just like this. Make sure you're rolling. If you're staying in place, you could accidentally hit yourself in the, in the ankle and it would hurt a lot. You can keep it in front of your foot while you're doing this. Same thing, whips. You want to get the, all the basic stuff down to do this trick. It's yeah, yeah. like I. Uh, all right, let's see. Let's hear. Okay. It. Look at my tail. Just do it out of a bank. It's a lot easier to do it out of a bank, and it's. So when I push off, I'm pushing off with this part of my foot back here, and I'm pushing off with my toes. Number one on the list, truck driver. There's number one. Okay, so a truck driver is a 360 bar spin. Why are you flexing, boy, huh? Mmm. So if you watch our first video, Top 5 Basic Scooter Tricks, we taught you how to 360. And if you've got that by now, you can bar spin and 360. So you're gonna want to add both of those together. You should try doing 180 bar spin to fakie, and then once you get that, you can do a 360 bar spin. You can slowly start making your way downtown, walking fast, faces past, and I'm homebound. <laughs> so to 360 bar spin, you're basically just gonna wanna learn at 180, and then once you catch the bar spin in the middle of the 360, you wanna tighten up your body, and you're gonna spin like a top. So when you get the 180 bar spin, and you land that, good job. Now go a little bit faster, 360 bar spin, and you'll hold it, and you'll get that initial spin. Can we see a demonstration? Yes. One more. He looked at the camera. He looked at the camera. Oh my gosh. It is hot, Dante. All right, is, is that all? If this video helps, give us some likes. We need it. Oh, look, it landed. It landed. It landed. Give it a like for the scooter landing. Okay, let's get some slushies.